From Buffalo School Districts to the South Towns, a lot of parents. I know my third grader is waiting at home right now, wondering whether his district is going to follow suit and uh, close tomorrow as well. These kids want to know. So the superintendents are trying to make that decision right now. Will they close? And we want to hear from a superintendent as well. And so we've got one on the line right now. Joining us is Hamburg Superintendent Michael Cornell. He is also the president of the Erie Niagara School Superintendents Association. Uh, Mr. Cornell, thank you so much for joining us this morning on Daybreak. Uh, what has thank Hamburg you, decided up? for tomorrow? Have you made a decision yet? We haven't yet. Uh, we're trying really hard to make sure that we're going to coordinate with all of the uh, school districts uh, in Erie County and, and perhaps beyond. Uh, so we do something in a coordinated way. Um, one of the things that we run into sometimes when we have this kind of cascading uh, closings across the community is it creates some some confusion and a little bit of, um, you know, one district's parents or other district's school staff. So. Uh, we try to make sure that we do it all together in a circumstance where the weather is going to impact the entire region. So uh, we, we talked a bunch last night. Uh, we've been in contact with the county. Uh, when you've got a weather event like this, it's a whole of community effort to keep everybody safe. So uh, the county is an important partnership in this. Uh, we're going to talk again this morning and make a decision during the early part of the day, I would imagine. You know, uh, Michael, it's, it's interesting you point out the county because the county executive advised school districts to shut down yesterday, even tweeting that out last night. What was your reaction to that, and did you know that was coming? Yeah, we knew it was coming. We talked to the county executive and the de deputy county executive yesterday afternoon. Um, we appreciate his perspective and that he's got a public service obligation to everybody and whether or not we open or close in a circumstance like this is important to him and, and the mission of the county to keep people safe but he also respects and appreciates the fact that it's a local decision about whether or not to close schools um, so what do we do in that type of a, a situation we have a good relationship we communicate often we make sure we support each other uh, and we'll make a great decision on behalf of the people when the time comes to make it and in a time when schools have the ability to do virtual learning, um, do mm -hmm. you think that more districts will choose to do so during snow days? Or do you think districts will take the opportunity to say, let kids be kids and go outside and play in the snow if it's safe to do so? What are your thoughts and, and feelings about taking a snow day to let kids go out and actually be kids and play? Well, in the, in the big picture, the state education department has been working to try to move towards the idea that even when you have a snow day, uh, kids would learn at home because we have the technology to do it. In most cases, you have to remember, there's a lot of parts of Western New York that don't have broadband internet access uh, anyway, whether or not the kids have a device. So the state is trying to move school districts in that direction. Um, you know, our own perspective in Hamburg, my own personal perspective is kids have lost a lot over the last several years, and I see no reason to add uh, the joy of a snow day to the list. All right. Thank you very much. Superintendent Michael Cornell of the Hamburg School District. A lot of teachers also listening closely and waiting for that announcement. Thanks for joining us. Be safe out there. Again, no decision yet from Hamburg this morning, but we will expect many school closures perhaps coming in tomorrow. The only one yet that we know of is Buffalo. So.